the first thing uh, that we want to do here is we're going to talk about Facebook first, okay? And the way uh, that I have done the automation um, in Facebook, let me make sure that I have the chat up so I can see if there's questions. Okay, perfect. So the way that it has worked best for me to do the automation with Facebook is there are a couple plugins that I like to use. One of them is called FT Face Press 2, which you can see right here. And the other one is called Twitter Friendly Links. Okay, and these two plugins work together. Now, I already have them installed. If you don't have them installed, all you would need to do is go to your Add New button under Plugin and just search for the names of these two, and they'll pop up and install them, and you will be good to go. Okay, so I have them installed. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go down here. We're going to go to the Face Press 2 Admin Options. Okay, and once this uh, once this pulls up, you will see right here. Um, basically, you know, like it says here, when any user publishes a WordPress post, Facebook will update the admin Facebook account as listed. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we need to give it our Facebook profile personalized upload email address. Now, the best part about this plugin is that it gives you the step-by-step -step directions for how to do this, which is fantastic because again, you know, I didn't know uh, how to do this. Um, at first, and this made it so easy because it tells you exactly what to do. So it says right here, um, click account, account settings, mobile, and go to Facebook mobile. Okay, so let's go over to Facebook, and I'm logged in to my dummy Facebook account. And so once again, what does it say? It says account, account settings, mobile. So let's go to account. We'll go to account settings. And once we hit account settings, we will go to mobile. And then from there, it tells us to go to Facebook mobile. So let's go to Facebook Mobile. We're going to click on that link right there. Okay, now, what it is asking us for is personalized upload email address. Okay, so upload via email. Use a personalized upload email. So this is that address right here. Okay, so we want to copy this, and we want to put this right here. And obviously, we want to test the connection and just make sure that it works properly. So it's going to send an update, and everything is okay. Okay, now the Facebook page personalized upload email address. So now let's go back, and this is what Facebook associates with your page. So we want to go to edit page under our page's image. So let's go back to the home. And let's see here. Oops, sorry. I'm going to go to the edit page. And Wait a second. Now, where is this one? Edit page and edit in the mobile section. Oh, this is uh, okay. So you have to actually create a Facebook page first on this one. That's right. And the, I did not. I, did, I have not created a page. So it's pretty much the same thing on this one. What you're going to do is first go in and create your Facebook page. Okay. So this will do an update just on your profile. If you have a company page, you want to go in and create your Facebook page. And then what will happen is underneath your image, it'll say Edit Page. And then you click edit, and then it's the same thing. And you'll find um, you'll find that exact same email address, and then you just want to put it in right there. If we have time at the end, I can go back, and we can actually create the page and go through that. I didn't create the dummy page um, to get started. Now, the next option that you have here is the format. So what do you want it to say? And it gives you, you know, a couple different options here. So you can put, if you just want it to be the title and the URL, you can just put that. If you want the excerpt to be in there as well, if you just copy and paste this here, it'll put the excerpt. If you want to put some text at the beginning, you can say, you know, new post or something like that. Uh, you know, new post on my blog. And then it'll put that in there every time. So we'll just set it up with those options for right now. Um, uh, just, you know, just to kind of space it out, maybe put some dashes between these or something like that just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then you can also tell it if there are certain categories that you want to include or exclude. So there may be you know, maybe you have um, admin announcements that you have just on your blog that you don't want to necessarily go out to Facebook, you know, for whatever reason. So let's say that that category number is three, then you would just want to put in the three right there. Okay, so we're no, we don't need to exclude any categories right now. Use shortened URLs, and this is where that Twitter-friendly links plugin comes in right here. As it says, you need to have this plugin activated to publish the shortened URLs. And what it does is it actually does your domain, the slash, and then it gives it a number. So instead of it, you know, spitting out the whole permalink, and it just it looks a little bit cleaner. Obviously, with Twitter, it, you know, you have the um, the, the limitation, uh, and so uh, you know, on, on how many characters, and so people have gotten very used to the shortened links. So we do want to do this. Uh, we will update all uh, Facebook profiles, and you can actually have the default 
to not publish to Facebook. So if you want this option but you don't want it to be the default, you can check this and you can opt in on a post level. Um, we'll set it up so that it is the default. And let's update our settings. And there we go. So we're good to go. So now let's just go in real quick and let's just create a post and just make sure that everything is working out well here. Go back home and we are home. And so this is a test post for Facebook. Here is a test post. Let's put something in the excerpt to make sure that we can check and see that that's working right. And it is. And we can hit publish. And then this should show up relatively quickly on our Facebook feed. So if we look at our profile, and it won't, doesn't always show up immediately, uh, but it should show up relatively quickly. And there it is. New post on my blog. This is a test post for Facebook, and you can see it is right there. And they actually you know, spat out a little test there when we were, or a little post when we were testing it. Um, so here is the test post, and we are good to go with that. So that is how that works with Facebook. And it will be the same way if you set up your page um, and go through that. It will be the same way. It will post. It will populate it right there on your page. Um, and then you are all set. I want to check one thing here real quick. I didn't see an option for the Twitter friendly links. And I want to make sure and see if there was something else that we need to do with that. I didn't think there was, but we'll have to let me take a look at the Twitter friendly links. Plugin, which maybe I didn't even have it activated. So let's double check on that. And there we go. So that's why the link didn't work. So let's activate this Twitter friendly links plugin. There you go. There's a lesson. Always activate your uh, your plugin. So it says we have to change our permalink structure um, for it to work. So let's see what we need to do. So let's just have a general permalink structure. And there we go. So let's save changes. And then we'll actually go in and let's do another test post here real quick just to show you how that works. Let's do another one here. Um, okay, test post, whoops, I can't type. Test post to check Twitter friendly links. Let's just copy that all down here. Let me adjust the desktop here real quick. Okay, put that in the excerpt. And yeah, see then it says please publish to get the links. And so we're good to go. Let's hit publish. And then we will see that pop up, and it should now have the a, a little bit cleaner of a link for us. And hmm, it did not. So as you can see, it didn't quite work there as well with the Twitter friendly link. So I'll deactivate that. And this is kind of part of the problem with plugins and why I don't always use plugins with everything. Um, that actually didn't spit out the link. So we can scratch Twitter friendly links right now. I'll have to work out a kink and I'll post something on howtoblog.tv with the exact right way to do that. But if you just do it with uh, with FacePress, it'll post the link. And actually here, let's we'll do one more and I'll show you because before it had that, you know, the the original WordPress permalink structure. Um, but we changed our permalink structure. And so now it should post with the actual permalink and not uh, you know where it actually has the word there instead of just the post number. So let's take a look at that real quick and make sure. And yes, there it goes. So there it posts with the actual link. And so, you know, if you want the actual link to be there, and sometimes that's a nice descriptive way to show people uh, what, your, what your post is about, you know, when you, have, um, when you have your nice descriptive permalink there, then you can just use that. And so there we go. So that is Facebook. So that's how you integrate with Facebook. And now, every single time that you post, you are good to go. And it's going to put a Facebook uh, message up there. And if you don't want to, you can always hit this. Do not publish this post to Facebook, and then it won't, and you're good to go. And I'll show you how this integration works when you do a page as well. OK, so page name, my page. There we go. The community page. And I already have a Facebook account, so let's sign in with this. How to blog webinar at gmail.com. 
Alright, so bear with me here, but we'll get this created, and that way I can show you how this works out. I should have had this created before we began, but I forgot about this little part of it. Um, okay, so let's see if we can get this. Tune over restricted, nice. Okay, so let's sign up. Huh. Oh, see, oh. So you have to go, okay, so how do we get back in? If someone can help me, let me know, how do you, where do you go to create... <coughs> to create the page once you're already logged in. I never remember how to do that. Uh, let's create a page. Let's just ask. How can I create a page? There we go. Um, create a page here. Let's, um, actually, let's do a, do a business page. Local business. I'm the official representative. My business. Create a page. There we go. I have to be logged in first to do that. Okay, perfect. So, here we go. Now we have our page started. So, if we want to post a blog here, let's go again. Let's go back to the face press options, okay, which are right here. This is what we skipped over before. So, thanks for bringing this question up and reminding me. So, it's going to tell us we need to go find that personalized upload email address. So, we need to click edit page under the image. And then we click on edit in the mobile section. Okay, so mobile edit. And there we go. So see, we have our email address. So let's copy that. Put that in here. Test the connection. And it should let's view the page. Um, where does it post? I know it posts that test somewhere. There we go. So testing face press. Okay, so now if we go in and we create a post in here, so test post for uh, page and profile. Let's copy that in there. Let's copy it into the excerpt. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's hit publish. And now that should come up, up not only here on on the business page, well, it will probably in a second. Um, it should come up there. Let's just double check. Well, it will also come up on the personal profile. So, although it didn't pop up there. Hmm. In fact, we're getting a little bit of a delay. But let's make sure that this works. And if not, let's troubleshoot why it doesn't work. There we go. Test post for page and profile. So that is in there. And let's go to our page and make sure that it comes up there. Ads and pages. So, or wall or wherever it's going to pop up. Um, it'll pop up here too. I said there's sometimes there's a little bit more of a delay than I like, um, but yes, it will pop up. And obviously, having that test shows that we have it set up properly. So to answer that question, yes, a blog post can be published on both a fan page and a personal page. You just need to set it up like that, and it will work uh, exactly the same way. And actually, I have found that it does some, for some reason take a little bit longer on the fan pages to actually uh, get the post out there as opposed to a profile.